This is Twit. So let's talk about foldable phones. There's one already available. Uh, they were at CES, the Royal. Yep. Did you see that at CES? Yeah, um, and, and CNET just published an article today um, called Foldable Phones Are Real. Here's every one we know about, um, which is a, a great look at everything that's that's there and coming. The Royal Flex Pay is, is the first one um, on the list. And then, of course, you know, Samsung Galaxy, Huawei this week, <laughs> Xiaomi this week. Yeah, too. we saw the Xiaomi CEO in a Twitter. Uh, now, he said that was a yeah. concept phone, but that was a triptych, a right. trifold phone that the two wings folded back. Um, boy, that's wild. There it is. There's, there's the video. Yeah. I mean, I, I love the concept on this. Do you want like this? Do you think this is a good well, thing? No, this is partly why I wanted to talk about it. Um, not, I'm not saying it's a bad thing, but I'm still trying to wrap my head around why I'd want it and not really why I'd want the ones that are probably going to come out in 2018 because those I don't think many of us really want. Um, because I'm worried that they're going to be like, janky, that the... I mean, uh, exactly. how many times can you bend that screen before it starts showing wear on the hinge, yeah. right? It's also really thick and, you know, um, although we've liked bigger phones, it's sort of a, the the bigger phone thing has been a little weird um, and, and counterproduct uh, counterintuitive over the past few years. I think thicker is not something people want, you know, that, that just try to stick in your pocket, something like that right. is not very, um, practical. Now, but when, 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 uh, when thinner, yeah, when Samsung showed more. its foldable phone in the kind of the sneak peek, and of course we're going to find out more on February 20th when they have their event, it yep. looked pretty thick, but he said, Oh, this is in a special case. So it's hard mm. to say. I, yeah. If thicker is not going to solve anything. No, but if, if I had a phone the size of my phablet today, right, and then somehow it also could um, kind of like the the Xiaomi um, uh, prototype piece, um, if somehow it could, you know, the screen could essentially double itself. Um, when I was ready to sit down and read something or do some work or do some bigger typing or whatever, I mean, we've. Just, there have been an insatiable appetite for big screen phones, right? Because you can, they are more productive. You can do more things with them once you have more screen. And so this is like the phablet run amok that this whole yeah. idea of, uh, uh, of the folding phone is really an extension of the phablet phenomenon. And I'm just try trying to wonder, and this is why I'm sort of throwing it out to you all of like, what does that give me? It, just assuming we get to that world where today's, you know, um, phablet, you know, this one or this one can double its screen size. Uh, how compelling is that? It's obviously, it's obviously doubling the screen size when you need it or want it. Right. And it, it's, it's yeah. it almost goes back to the argument of iPod versus cell phones. So why not make them both the same? So why have a tablet and, and, and a, 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 a smartphone? Th that's the most yep. obvious thing, but you know what, here's the reality. <laughs> Forget about what we would maybe have a use for it is the reason these are coming is because no one's been able to differentiate a phone for at least five right. years now. Right. They all look Fair enough. exactly yep. identical. And so guess what? I I bet people are going to have a reasonable amount of success because people are going to be like, you know what? Look at me. I have the one phone in my friend <laughs> circle that looks different than all y'all's phones. <laughs> Why don't they make a and triangular I think that's in the phone? Fashion aspect, yeah. yeah. And I think that's very important, um, not necessarily in the U.S., uh, but in some cultures, phones are status items, and if you've got a unique item that actually is part of a cultural status thing, where you want to be able to show off that you've got that, I believe that to be the case in certain parts of China and uh, uh, other places in Asia. So maybe it'll just sell as a status object as opposed yeah. to something useful. That's right. Might be something that More only reliable. lasts for six to twelve months before right. you you move on to something else. You know, fashion type item. And Apple's been trying to sell phones as fashion fashion accessories for some time. It's kind of the their, size of my uh, my my yeah. paper planner, right? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's, I think you know, so. And it opens also, up and look, it's foldable. I got a big screen. <laughs> and, and the second part is that for some people, smartphones are their computers, and indeed, a television and a book. Right. And if you want something that does all of those things, then perhaps there's a trade-off there. So uh, this is a case of, I think, testing the market to see if the idea can let 
t- catch on, and if it does, they can then iterate around it. So I'm going to make a again, prediction. You know, yep. I'm going to make a prediction. Those? We're not going to see a single foldable phone at next year's CES. Not one. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be like 3D TV. It's just going to disappear without a trace. Maybe a few bubbles. That's it. Go ahead, oh, Brian. There's, there's been a lot of wagers that going on here, so yeah. I don't know, Leo. I don't know that I like that one at all. You like it? You want a foldable? Who here wants a foldable phone? I don't. No. Have you seen those articles though about how um, in in the Indian uh, cell phone market um, that that the I can't remember. Uh, boy, you know, but the the amount of hours that they spend on video. The point that that Greg just made about how. Um, like so, if it's your entertainment devices, th- if this is how you are consuming all of your entertainment and your media, so that then it fits in your pocket and you 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 do your daily business, and then at night, I'm not saying it replaces your TV, but you maybe live in a country where you don't have a big screen TV or whatever. Like so, w- why wouldn't you want to fold uh, unfold this thing yeah. and have a bigger screen? There's a lot of reasons. What happens if your li- what happens if your house is just a room? Right. 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 So if you're right. well, if in you fact, in Japan, in a- uh, before uh, smartphones, even they've had because that's a big issue in Japan, larger phones that did a lot more. Right? Am I, am I wrong on that? That was a very popular pre-smartphone product in uh, Japan. Um, I, just, I think it's also to do with the 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 use of emojis and the the characters instead of using right. uh, uh, letters like we do. They Western use pictograms. Yeah. yeah. So the larger screens. As I understand it, and please, I don't want to pretend that I'm an expert here, but from what I've researched and read, is that they tend to go for the larger screens because it makes more sense for the the local the local conditions. Yeah, look at these uh, images of cell phones from Japan, and you'll get you'll get some idea. Um, mm. They all have, you know, kind of extra display capabilities. Those were the ones that for years we would see and everyone was trying to sell us on mobile computing and, yeah, nobody and all wanted of us them. were like yeah. we're like we don't want that. Right. Yeah. The yeah. yeah. OQO. But that's cuz we were that. entering data with T19. Right. The OQO, <laughs> you know, I remember that too. Yeah. And today yeah. you can do yeah. it a lot more with voice. You, you know, some people are turning to voice as an alternative to the keyboards and a lot of people have gotten better with the alphanumerics like the touch sensitive screens make more sense. So I think there is some transition there. There's no innovation as such, just a transition as we do make marginal improvements on them. This is 2009. This, this uh, these phones were. Leo, this could phones. be innovation, is what I'm saying. Like I, I'm, I'm with you in the sense that like it, it's probably unreliable right now or whatever. But like, are you saying that it wouldn't be innovation to have different screen sizes depending on when you needed it and your use case? Let me think about that. Uh, if it's so, we, we there's some conditions. Obviously, it can't be thick. So if it's not much bigger, if it's something like an existing phone, right? If we phone, can get there, if we can unfolds. get there, no one's saying yeah, 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 first yeah. I, 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 I grant you that. So the first generation yeah. probably be wanky, and this is based yeah. on AMOLED screens that can reliably bend and unbend uh, without damage and showing, <laughs> you know, wear of any kind. Okay, um, but there's some. I don't see myself problems. opening yeah. it up. To be honest with you, I feel like. Uh, a, a Galaxy Note 9 or uh, the, the iPhone XS Max, that's that's fine. That gets the job done. Maybe it, maybe I'm just not mm. open-minded enough. That's kind of so. So there's also ergonomic issues with them too. Or right. not, I don't know if ergonomic is the right way to say it, but you, you know how usability <laughs> with these tablets, issues. yeah, yeah, usability. Thank you. You you know those tablets where you flip them over and when you have to hold them and you feel the keys on the back. Yeah, I hate that. I hate that, too. I hate that. I have a I yoga. Cannot, I, I have a, a I, Lenovo I just, yoga, and I never do that for that reason. Or I can't either. I can't yeah. stand, you know, any ergonomics that you end up doing that. Right. And and I feel like that's my worry with these foldable phones. If this thing folded over and then, okay, I'm always holding it where yeah. I've got the screen is on the back, but it's not on unless I – flip it over it's like i'm not gonna like that i i know because of the ways that these tablets you know uh do that i'm gonna stand it, by my prediction that this is exact you're exactly right this is an industry that's desperate for something new and different some 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 differentiator and so they're gonna throw a lot of spaghetti uh, against the wall this is this is a this is a noodle that's gonna f- flop 